God, me sick, me reggaeville. Summer Jam 2022, this is Reggaeville and I have the great pleasure to have with me Brushy One String who's <laughs> going to play here on Sunday. Yep. You reach already, it's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> so are you excited? Are you happy about being here? Yes, I'm very happy to be here. Welcome to Cologne, welcome to Summer Jam. Thank you for having what me. What can we expect from your performance on Sunday? Ah. I'm trying to ask myself the same thing, you know. <laughs> you know, I I just want to be me. I just want to perform for the people like I used to. I found here is a nice place, good vibes, and I know I will do well. But all is well. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna do wonderful. I mean, music really runs in your genes, so to speak, because you are the offspring of a. Uh, um, Freddie McKay, Freddie McKay yes. incredible soulful Jamaican singer, rock steady, reggae singer. Definitely. Tell me a bit, um, how was it like um, being his son? How was your upbringing like your childhood? Well, my childhood was pretty rough. I come from a humble background, but um, it was very rough because my dad always in Kingston, where the studio at, and I always in the country. But um, my mom, she travels a lot um, she used to sing back up with Tina Turner her name is Beverly Faster wow. so while my mom is in England and my dad is in Kingston I was growing with my grandma so all that I know is what my grandma teach me and told me but so far it's good uh, you know everybody had a little way of suffering when that time is there but since I become a man and on my own doing my music I'll, I've got a few little struggle here and there but Trust me, I'm, I'm okay. You you spoke of the country. Which part is that you, that you well, hear from? Well, it was uh, Saint Catherine. That's Saint Linstead. They had a song okay. called "Call Me Aki Go a Linstead Market." market right. Well, I was living right behind the market and top of the hill. Oh, okay. My grandma, she's a revival person, okay. Christian person. So, where I grew up with strict rules and principles, and but okay. well, you know, every kid used to have their bad time. I used to have my bad time, not listening to grandma. Run away from the yard, spray in the street, and but uh, when I was actually 12 year old, I started to play guitar, but I could not. So when I was about 15, I get a gift playing a one string guitar. So I went to my uncle. I was living with my uncle at that time, my uncle Zeke L. Wilkes, and I get a vision about a one string guitar. Right. So when I get the vision about the one string guitar, I went to him and I said, Uncle Zeke, I got a vision last night. I was playing a one string guitar for animals and people from all different nations. And he was like, you smoke some weed? Did you drink? <laughs> where where you hear one string guitar play? And I said, it was just a dream. And then his girlfriend started to laugh and she said, go and take that guitar up and play in one string. Your dream might just come true. I went inside, I take my guitar up, I wipe it off. Only one string was on it because I couldn't really afford the strings and they all broken. So I take up the guitar with the one string and I wonder what to play. So I start to run down the fret, so run down the fret, run down the fret, until I hear a song on the radio call coming from a country, which is Mr. DC. That song was done by Sugar Minot. And he was playing on the radio and all of a sudden I began to play that rhythm and then singing the song. I went back inside and I said, Uncle, 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 Margaret, 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 I can play the one string guitar for real. And then I started to play the song and sing. Then he sent me go buy rum, rum, and he threw a little bit in my cup and said, you are a man now, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I drink it, and we were there talking to him, said, you can develop this then. And the next day I take my clothes and I run away. And I went to the next town. When I went there, started to play my song coming from the country, everybody think I was a crazy man. They say, oh, a new madman in town. He plays a one string guitar. And the crowd gather around me. Everybody like what I do. I make a lot of money that day. And I went home back. And then from after that, it's all history. Here I am right. today in Germany uh, singing for a mass crowd of like 70,000, maybe 30,000 or more. Yeah, man. So um, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, I am proud of myself. And as a Jamaican, 
And as a person, my dad was a great singer. And I glad I he rubbed a little bit on me. My mom also, I glad. And the reason why I glad because I become a professional in what I'm doing. And it is very nice. People like me. I'm a lovable person. Uh, I've got a couple kids and everybody just love me. So I don't try to do wrong or go wrong. So it kind of build me. Then I bought this guy called Luciano. He's from uh, Argentina. And he was coming down the road with his big camera and I said, hey, white man, I sing you a song and you give me $20 because I was hustling with tourists at the time. And he said to me, everybody want $20. Why every Jamaican want $20? And say, but this $20 you're going to give me, you're going to come back and give me more if you do this. So he didn't believe me. So I take my guitar out because it was in the bag. And when he see my one string guitar, he was like, wow, can you play that? I said, that's what I'm telling you. So I start to sing Chicken in the Corn. <laughs> my friends, they gather. And they were, all of us began to sing. And then he gave me $40 and said, that's good. Then I said to him, oh, I used to do music. I go away in England for five years with my mom. I came back and I go on a TV show. But they say it was for kids and then they never let me win. They let me come fourth. And when I think I'm going to go in the third spot, they give somebody else. So right now I'm really want my career back. You can put me on YouTube and you will see how much people know me. He did that. In three days, he called me and said, Yo, people know you. We got 30,000 people in three days. Mad, right? So I think we're going to come back to Jamaica, give you a small contract, and we start doing this. And here I am today. And I think crucial also were, were not one, but several film appearances that you did, right? Yes, yes. One yes. of them um, was for Rise Up, Rise for example. Up, that, that's the same guy I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> so how, how was the filming experience like? Oh, well, as you know, I really love it. And I, you said to me, do something and I can do it. I'm going to do the best I can. So that's the reason why um, people like me, because... If you give me a, something to do, for instance, you're making a flame and you said, Bershi, I would like a song that could back this up. I will ask you what's the idea and then take that idea and make a song. So they love me because I'm really creative that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you're very creative. I also recognize that because you do a lot of stuff on social media as well. Definitely. You do that all by yourself or you have someone helping you with that? All right, I, I did it all by myself first and then I've got Lucian the same guy from Rise Up okay and he come down uh, maybe once every two here mm -hmm. and then I pack him up with some songs like maybe 12 or more songs that he can put out a song actually every weekend and for uh, actually 10 years I've been doing this so my status grow and grow and grow and grow and today I came um, Sunday I will be came in here to do the same thing to grow just to grow just to grow <laughs> yeah. but there is never a chance that the number of strings on your guitar will grow right no it will no. always be the always one, be one string then if we had one god then i think i only need one string and we have one love as well <laughs> right one love that's one right love. <laughs> definitely so from that can you give us a little brushy one string okay. a little <laughs> performance right here right now all right <laughs> Pretty girls, yes, pretty, pretty girls, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, ladies, 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 y'all. Yeah. Hey, pretty girl, pretty girl. Never seen a pretty girl like you, no. No, no. Hey, pretty girl, pretty girl. Never love a pretty girl like you, no. No, no. So pretty girl, pretty girl. I never see a pretty girl like you, no. No, no. Hey, pretty girl, pretty girl. Never
love, I love a pretty girl like you. Oh, no, no. But if you come my way, I will love you every day. And if you come my way, that's where your love will stay. And if you come my way, and I will love you every day. And if you come my way, then that day won't be my day. Yeah, yeah. See, that day won't be my day. Hey, yeah. Mm, boy. So pretty girl, pretty girl. Have you ever been downtown? Uh-huh. Yes, pretty girl, pretty girl. Have you ever been into the ghetto? Yeah. But if you come my way, then I will love you every day. And when you come my way, that's where your love will stay. So when you come my way, then that thing will be my day. Hey, hey. Say that thing will be my day. day, day. And I say that thing will be mine. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful brushy. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, we have the performance on Sunday that we can look forward to, to hear more music like that. Definitely. Can we look forward to something else? Are you also working on You can on look forward album, for maybe? something new, something old, and something now. Uh, because uh, this world was before, this world is now, and this world is forevermore. Just like the God we praise. He was before, is now, and is forevermore. Right. So definitely. Thank you so much for that brushing. Thank you for having All me. the very be best. <laughs> and then I'm going to see you on Sunday. Yeah? Thank you. Enjoy Thank you. summer jam in the meantime. Uh, Enough I, love and respect. I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Me mad, me sick, me reggae feel. 